so the weather has started to be nice outside now um and people in the neighborhood uh because they know me that i fix kids bikes and everything um started bringing me bikes and they brought me three to paint so i'm just gonna go through a little video or whatever and um show you guys what I do for the kids in the neighborhood. Cool? Cool. Let's get to it. No, not, that's not the third one. She's doing her, that's the old lady, she's doing her nails. I told her I'd paint them with a can, a spray can, but she said no. Anyway, that's the third one there. So I gotta disassemble that and paint it. So I'm on the first bike. I took the whole bike apart. Um, now I just need to get these stickers off. And stickers, um, as you guys already know, they're a pain in the ass to get off. But if you actually go slowly, that one came off pretty easy so what I'm gonna do with this is just sand it down a little bit by hand um, like I said before I'm not, I'm gonna use 120 uh, grit sandpaper which is gonna be fine once I paint this with the paint I have it'll be nice and shiny you'll see no scratches or anything like there's no need to go into 240 300 sandpaper or anything 120 is sufficient for what for me anyway just taking the shine off of the the paint if you just take the shine off the paint the other paint that you're going to put on will stick to it okay so i got that sand uh the child's mother uh, wants the whole bike uh, painted red So the paint that I'm using is rust paint armor coat rust paint high gloss This is the paint I use for all my bikes and go-karts and all that um, And like I said, I used 120 sandpaper here So I'm gonna give it a first coat and then let that dry and then give it half an hour later I'll give it the second coat Here's my point about using 120 sandpaper and not going to um, 220 and 300 sandpaper and all that, right? I started off on this bike with a piece, let me say, maybe 5 inches by 3 inches and everything. And this piece of sandpaper, 120 grit, I was able to do the whole bike just with this piece. If you were going to 300, uh, 220 or whatever, you'd use, I don't know how many sheets of sandpaper. And look how this comes out. Like, I painted the forks. Look at that, 120 sandpaper. Painted that. Um, hang on one second. Painted the handlebars, check that out, nice and shiny, no scratches you can see on it and everything. 
all with this one little piece of sandpaper. So that's the frame of the first bike I started to paint. And wouldn't you know it, like, somebody brought me another bike. I took it apart yesterday. So the name they want on here is um, Carmel Carmelo. I'm going to do that, but first, what I want to do over here is I want to make... Um, I don't know, something that makes the bike stand out. Just... I need a steadier hand, man, like... There, that might do it. Sorry for the smoke. I'm not like a professional at this or anything, like I do it by hand or whatever, but any imperfections after I'll try to come down, come over it after with the white, see over here I, I messed up. I'm going to go off topic here for a minute. Um, this is the 40 series converter for uh, Machine Gun Nevis. Uh, I got these converters, same thing with the, the sexy machine, I got these converter, power converters from, um, Go Power Sports, and they're supposed to be like a bushing right here, either brass or copper, so the belt doesn't, um, engage, uh, when you first start it up, and uh, for some reason, it couldn't have fallen off. It had to disintegrate or whatever happened here. And that bushing just uh, vanished. And sexy machine is the same uh, same thing happened or whatever. So I have to take this off. I don't know where to get this bushing. And to me, it's, it's dangerous because um, as soon as you start the, the, the go-kart, the freaking thing just takes right off. So, I have to figure out where to get a bushing and have to keep an eye on these bushings. So, for you guys uh, out there, yeah, just keep an eye on this freaking bushing. Because this is what happened to me. I ended up starting the uh, machine gun nevis over here. And it actually took right off. And it went right through this fence. And I had to repair the fence. I don't know if you guys can see. It used to be nails. I put screws here and everything. I had to get a 2x4 for the bottom here. Had to replace these panels. And everything. But yeah. Video start. And this thing cost me, like, by the time I got, it got here to Canada, this freaking thing cost me almost 500 bucks for the 40 series that's just ridiculous and the copper bushing here is probably like what i don't know where to find one but it's probably what 30 cents 
20 cents. So this bike here is all together. Um, I have another three to do and I'm pretty sure today or tomorrow some other people are going to come over for me to fix their bikes and everything. But yeah, it came out good. Uh, yeah, I know. I did suggest for them to paint the 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 rims. I would think black would would have looked good on this or whatever, but they wanted to leave it blue, which is fine. Still looks okay. Anyway, uh, this is it for this video. Stacy RC Racing. Uh, thanks for those stickers, and uh, you guys check out his channel, and uh, I'll see you on my next video. Cheers, guys.